So Switzerland is a highly demanded location for global innovation. Uh, only last year, more than 21 percent um, forecasted jobs could be created in the as in the pre-corona year 2019. That means that beside Ireland, only Switzerland saw any grow in all FDI projects in 2020. For us, this is a clear sign that Switzerland's stability and its innovation landscape, as well in many future technologies, has a strong attractiveness amongst foreign investors. Uh, I can give you two examples. Uh, we see a growing demand um, in industry clusters where Switzerland has so much to offer from the United States. And we see that uh, specifically in the areas of life sciences, personalized health, with a strong element of artificial intelligence in it. Or we see it as well in blockchain technology, which has now found its place in many, many uh, different industries. In Japan, for example, there is an ongoing high interest from Japanese tech companies in Switzerland's innovation and technology ecosystems. There are a few rankings out there that uh, repeatedly for more than 10 years show Switzerland as best location for innovation, but as well in SEAT Global Talent Competitiveness uh, Index 2020, which gives Switzerland best rates and rankings to be the most attractive location for hiring expats and for finding talents. For us, those access to innovation and access to markets is one of the key elements of Switzerland. And if you ask in which industries or technologies it's specifically hot, we see really a great momentum in those three future technologies, uh, all digitally, of course, which is artificial intelligence, which is uh, in, in um, uh, blockchain technology, which has an impact on many key industries where Switzerland is strong at. For us, innovation is first of all an attitude. So people are hungry to find out better solutions for today's and, and tomorrow's challenges. Challenges of our countries, but challenges as well of the environment, challenges in our daily lives, in industries or in services. The digital world today is offering great technological tools to support innovation, but at its core, it's a human ambition to find better solution. And this ambition is strongly present in the Swiss population and in everyone living in Switzerland and working in Switzerland in the Swiss DNA. Let me point out a few um, key elements. One of it is the Switzerland's dual education system, uh, which goes in pair with one of the highest investments in research and development Switzerland um, invests from the public side, but as well from the private side. This makes Switzerland in this topic of innovation a world leading hub, digitally leading, but as well offline leading. And Switzerland is by that ideally positioned to fully exploit the potential of the fourth general industrial revolution by adding those future technologies as I explained earlier on. And this, of course, to the benefit of all Swiss companies and all foreign companies being present in our country. Because Switzerland offers everything that is needed for this successful development and implementation of new key, key technologies. Um, this is, for example, innovation friendly regulation and leg legislation, a strong network of business research and science, as well as an extensive ecosystem in the areas of life sciences, of the finance industry with all the fintechs, blockchain companies in it, and with a great uh, different pools of, of excellence, center of excellence at the leading universities of our countries in artificial intelligence so that the ecosystem can, can flourish. Uh, this is confirmed by many globally active companies which have selected and chosen Switzerland already for a long time, such as IBM and Google, both of them having the biggest R&D operation outside of the US in Switzerland. And there are more and more companies coming to support this message. One example is, for, is as well the, the telemedicine provider Medgate, 
the development of such a product with new, with new, with new technologies was possible thanks to our legislation and rational administrative procedures. Medgate was developed here in Switzerland, is now one of the world's leading providers of digital health. But if you really want to discover Swiss innovation, I suggest go visit uh, the nine Swiss companies and organizations at the virtual Swiss pavilion of the ITO Digital World or visit us at sg.com um, slash invest. Switzerland is 99.7% made out of SME, so it's a pure SME country, which is the backbone of our of industry, of our economy. So we support uh, Swiss-based SMEs on their path uh, to new markets by offering them support together with many partners in Switzerland, but as well in the new target market. We, we go with them, we accompany them on the various steps of internationalization and make sure that they land um, successfully and efficiently in their new target market. For foreign companies, we support them through all the journey from their first interest in Europe or Switzerland until the moment uh, they have set up uh, in Switzerland and beyond. Um, we do that together with our expert teams around the world. They are mostly located in the, at the Swiss embassies and at the general consulates. You will find them there in your country, so go there and address uh, your questions you have. Um, we answer all national questions on Switzerland up front before we then connect you with the right, uh, with the right um, contacts in Switzerland, be it at the ecosystems in innovation, technology, or at the regional and cantonal level to make that journey to Switzerland as easy and all for free uh, for you to, to go with us. So in a very unbureaucratic and straightforward way and approach. And we can do that because we are um, uh, we are supported and mandated from the Swiss government and the canton to serve the needs of the economy, to serve the needs of the companies, to make the company successful and by that as well to, to contribute to Switzerland's prosperity. Switzerland is, is very open for business. Uh, that's in, in those time a very strong message I want to repeat in this audience. So open for business means also listen to the business needs. And I can give you one example, which is out of, of the blockchain um, industry. So back 10, 12 years uh, where this topic came out, um, the, the young blockchain companies by that time, they were, they were looking for the best location to set up and to grow their business. And, Switzerland regulators, they were interested in knowing what are really the needs and what is this new protocol about, all about and, and how can we support this initiative because we were convinced that it has a potential for the future to grow. And there was quickly found a kind of a regulated space uh, in kind of a, of a sandbox initiative where young companies with these great ideas could uh, test the water, test their, their business model in a, in a regulated space, so they had uh, security, legal security to do what they wanted to do. And from there, a whole ecosystem could grow in Switzerland. Uh, so first, um, cryptocurrency com um, companies came to Switzerland, and today we have over 1,000 blockchain companies in our country doing business in and out of Switzerland uh, globally, and Switzerland could make up a very strong position in a specific industry, which is a younger industry, of course, but with a bright future. And just one example of, it wasn't a really an initiative by itself, it was just happening by our interest and, and Switzerland's openness to, to listen to the needs of entrepreneurs, be it in Switzerland, but as well globally coming into Switzerland. So this just as one example. I think uh, coming together and meeting among um, among companies, among people, and, and among among uh, human beings as we all are is 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 also a basic need every one of us has. And um, with events like the ITU Digital, or then as well and then as well physical, of course, is really that people with same interests and, and ambitions can meet, can can exchange 
best practices, can also ask the questions they have. They go then afterwards um, smarter and, and better informed back to, to their work to transform those insights into into day-to-day -day, uh, products or, or reality. So I think this is one of the key elements of meeting um, in, in events like this. So we're really proud to be a, a, a strong partner at ITU Digital World and great that Switzerland is present with several speakers uh, to give different flavors, different views of, from our country to the audience of the ITO Digital World. And especially proud is that we are having um, the, the, the Digital Swiss Pavilion with uh, um, the companies there, which are the best ambassador of, of Switzerland as, as a leading uh, innovation and technology location. I think um, online or offline, uh, to answer this question, I think information and best practice sharing can be done virtually, but having that element of truth and trust uh, together between business partners, this is only possible today and uh, hopefully it stays for a long time by physical meetings.